question is where do earthquakes originate? We are in a conversion margin in a subduction zone where one plate goes underneath the other one. So a lot of uh, sediments and rocks are being squeezed during this process actually. And uh, the fluids are interacting with the solids. These fluids interact and equilibrate with the rocks and sediments that they are seeing. So they change the chemistry. Based on the chemistry, we can tell you from which temperature it comes and uh, from what depth it comes, if you know the geology of the area. So that is one of the things that we can tell. And that's very interesting, for example, if we get an earthquake here, the question is where do earthquakes originate? And if we can capture the fluid which is associated with such an event, we can say, okay, this uh, uh, earthquake came from this region. The process of the earthquake, where does it initiate actually? And the fluids can tell us. They are messengers from depth. If you look at the input into the ocean, what are the major inputs? River, rivers are the major input, and hydrothermal systems. These are the two major inputs. Hydrothermal system gives us information about the interior of the earth and the rivers about superficial processes. Now, subduction zones are related to both, actually, and that's a frontier which is still open-ended. It is hard for me to convey the absolute thrill that is involved in doing science. It is, to me, a privilege to be able to do this kind of work. It is something that is innate to human nature, to ask questions, to ponder, to wonder, and to have the opportunity to pursue this is... And there are two aspects of it. You know, you can make a prediction and you could be right, and that is very exciting. However, as a scientist that I respect a lot, taught me a long time ago, he says, the time I learn the most is when I'm wrong. Because I predicted the system will work this way. If I find it that it works this way, then it sort of confirms something that we already know. But if we find something that is not what we predicted, then we really need to understand how is this working. What we need to find out here in order to understand the, what generates earthquakes is how the entire system works, where two plates meet, what kind of processes are involved in the subduction, the type of subduction, the mechanisms, what happens when there are seamounts that are coming on the plate, what happens when they meet the other plate. And uh, I cannot answer the questions with just what I do. This is a team effort. This is a group of interdisciplinary people with various expertise where we're putting together all this information based on a very small sample of the formation to try to understand a process as big as what generates earthquakes. I would hesitate to say that the work we're going to do here will answer all the questions related to earthquake seismicity. No. And science moves in very little steps. We all contribute a little bit. And perhaps at the beginning, it is only interesting to a small group of people. Um, so it's a building, it's an accumulation of knowledge that lets us to understand the big picture. I think one of the most fascinating things about the work that we do is that we can ask questions and we can pursue answers to the way the planet works. Being able to pose questions and pursue 
that idea to try to understand an observation. To me, that doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> it's fantastic.